legs. Why are you doing this? Who? <laughs> Let me stop this real quick. Bounce. West side make a bounce right now. Right now. North side make a bounce right now. Right now. Middle finger to the eyes right now. Niggas, you down for the cost right now. Right now. Dead side make a bounce right now. Right now. Get the money and we out right now. Right now. Get the boys that they want right now. In the spot right now. Make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding. No more time. And I guess I should take it slow. Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for comment shout out. <laughs> Let's get it. The first comment shout out goes to the one and only HFM family. Like y'all know, he's down below. Like two, comment shout out goes to the one and only O's. She's the number one regular, okay? She stays down below. <laughs> y'all know i appreciate all your comments okay keep them coming and if you think the melanin is popping you know what to do you gotta keep on watching what is good everyone so i just wanted to hop right into this video okay so as y'all know we're in quarantine right now so it's been really hard for me to get any type of new makeup because y'all know that the makeup stores are all closed so your girl went on amazon okay i went on amazon to get a couple of teams you know so first i got this beautiful palette it's called the fruit pie filling palette from you can be right here basically i went on amazon and i was like you know what i want to find some really affordable makeup brands that you can get from Amazon that a lot of us don't really know about but are good quality and I've always seen these eyeshadows on Amazon for like $12 like $10 like $11 right so I was like you know what I should try these and see if they're like any good you can be I've never heard of them before so I did my research and I went online I went to their Instagram and I was impressed by the reviews, I was impressed by the pigment, but what I wasn't really impressed by is how little diversity they have on their Instagram page. It was bad, y'all. Like, So after scrolling quite a bit, I did see some dark skinned women on their page. So I was like, you know what, let me try it and see how it is. This is how it looks like. And the colors are really pretty. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, these colors are banging. Like, they're nice. Let's get on to this tutorial, okay? <laughs> All right, first I'm using the one and only Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer. Now this is my first time using it, but it's been a YouTube fave for a while and they were having a sale on Amazon. You get two for only $7.99, honey, and you know I had to utilize the sale. So I'm using it to blend out all on my eyelid under my eyebrow so then I can have a nice even surface for my eyeshadow to be on top of and it'll be great because then the colors will pop even more once you have that nice surface so that's what I'm doing I'm blending right under my eyebrow and this is in the color caramel so the first color I'm using on this beautiful palette is this brownish orange burnt color that's such a nice transition color and i'm putting it all the way on my lid like i did with the concealer i'm gonna blend it to right about under my eyebrow as well so i can have this nice transition and yeah it's really nice so this palette that i'm using was only 13.99 and for this color payoff i think it's really worth your money it's less than 20 dollars y'all just a couple more bucks than 10. <laughs> The color is paying off. For that, two for that, I'm built for that, live for that, dream for that. Y'all know that we up on that, nah, nah, they gotta love it, man. How we got the whole city jumping like it's the summer, man. One for that, two for that, I'm built for that, live for that, dream for that. So the next color I'm going to be applying is called Choco Chip, and it's making me a little bit hungry, okay? <laughs> You know, chocolate sounds quite good right now, but you know I can't because I'm on Addis Fit program. <laughs> 
anyway so I'm going to put this in my C as you can see I'm blending it from in and out in and out where my crease is because we want that to be super dark so when we do cut the crease you can see that transition from light to dark very well you want it to be potent you want it to be popping okay so that's what I'm doing I'm blending it doing little C type strokes so in and out in and out from the most inner corner of my eyelid to the most outer corner we just want to make sure that's popping and I'm using my Morphe M34 brush which is really great it does such a great job with getting in between that crease so you know watch your girl work okay <laughs> So y'all, it's time for me to cut the crease, okay? And I'm using that NYX HD concealer to do so in the color CW01. Now y'all, this step is the most time consuming step. Now I do cut my crease a little bit different. I do not use a separate brush to do that. I actually use the wand that comes with the concealer. I just feel like I have more control of the product and sometimes the brush at the end isn't as straight so it doesn't give you that line that you want. But this step is the most tedious and to me it takes the longest because you know you want to make sure that your cut crease is cut in, is slicing, is doing all that like it's sharp, like a knife. You want that shark week sharp <laughs> shark teeth <laughs> anyway <laughs> so you want this to be sharp okay so this does take a while it takes a long time um <laughs> but you know we will get there see the progress is being made as you're looking at the screen you can see it okay we're we're doing that thing we're tr tr trying okay <laughs> to get this cut sliced all the above so you know keep on watching your girl doing that thing okay it's a little struggly in some parts but we do get there at the end I promise you okay okay just you just keep on watching cut crease the cut crease y'all this cut crease takes a lot of concentration <laughs> so y'all as you can see that the sides are kind of jagged and I did that on purpose because I don't want the cut crease to go all the way down I did it in a way that it's jagged at the end because I don't want the cut crease to go all the way down because I still want to keep that dark color at each end of each eye. All right, y'all heard her, girl. Y'all heard her. Okay, so I'm going to take that Choco Chip color again, and I'm just going to put that closer to the brighter color that we used to cut our crease because we want that to be a gradient. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to create a gradient type effect so that the transition between the colors is more smooth, it's more buttery, you know what I mean? So I want that to be more fluent, you know, from like dark to a little bit less dark to light, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, you do. I know you do. Okay. So next, y'all, I'm going to use this melon color that is super bright, super nice, and just pops like I love a good neutral cream type color that's matte it does such a good job when it comes to popping that cut crease so that's what I'm doing I'm putting it over where I put that concealer to create the cut crease to make you know that area pop more because as you can tell it's a little bit faded because concealer is technically not eyeshadow so it does fade over time so you always want to put a color over that concealer once you're making the cut crease so everything can be cohesive and nice and really stand out and pop. The concealer is always used as a base while you need to put eyeshadow over it for it you know 
to do that thing for you to be looking popping because you know we want to be popping and you know that's what I'm saying right now I'm telling y'all how popping this eyeshadow is and it's doing that thing I mean can you see <laughs> I mean it's doing that thing hey I mean hey can you see ow I mean haha <laughs> Is doing that thing. Ow. Okay. Ow. All right. Okay. Let me get off. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so next, I'm going to be using the Sugar King color just to give it a little pop, you know, to add some glitter because we need some glitter for this look to be actually popping, popping. And I tried using it, but as you can see, it's not really doing anything. The shimmers in this palette definitely need a little bit of work. It's not really paying off the way that it should. It's not coming off the way that it should. So I ended up opting out after trying a couple bit more times for the Jackie Anna Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I used the color Trust Issues to put that on instead. And you know, it did a little bit of something, you know, but I just think it's the base color I used. But um, it did give it some type of reflection so that's what I'm doing and I'm playing that with my finger so I decided to add some more glitter and I'm using these glitter pens that I got from Amazon and I'm just putting it as you can see on that C part of where the dark transitions from the light and vice versa I'm just putting that on across that whole section where the crease is you know to give it some pop you want this to pop and why not glitter is like my thing I love glitter so like why not and it does a really good job of making just eyeshadow pop just a little bit more it's a trend that's been going on and I really like it because I like glitter and yeah and I'm putting it right in my inner corner as well you know we want to be popping all around honey for a finishing touch I just want to take that choco chip color and put that on my lower lash line under my waterline just to add some dimension so it can pop you know we want to be multi-dimensional so we are done with our eyeshadow look and now it's time for us to line our top lash line so when you put on lashes it can be seamless and I'm using the Tarte Tartress eyeliner in the color black Ooh, cramp again Woo. Ooh, okay. Legs. Why are you doing this? Whoo! <laughs> Let me stop this real quick. It's time for me to apply my lashes, y'all. Baby, give me, give me to the left, y'all. If you want to get no pressure. Hey, you know? Nice, you know? Not, you know? All right, fam, squad, peeps, okay, I'm gonna speed through the face makeup because this tutorial was mostly for the eyes and the palette that I used, but I'll have all these products listed down below, so let's get to it. Let's finish this face. Oh my face, I'm trying to get it to come my way. Hey, you know, oh, Anna, Anna. Okay, anyone. And this is the final look, y'all. We are done. Yeah. I really like this look that I came up with using this palette right here. I mean, it did a great job. The eyeshadows were very pigmented. So out of 10, you know? Hmm. So y'all, I would rate this palette a good eight out of 10. The only reason why I give it an eight instead of a higher rating, like a nine or 9.5 or even a 10, is for the fact that the shimmers in it were not that great. The lighter shimmer that y'all see me trying to use in this palette was not very shimmery at all. 
So for the mattes, the mattes in this palette are really nice, but the shimmers do need a little bit of work. But I haven't tried all the shimmers in this palette, so the shimmers might be a little bit better in a different color, because the shimmer that I did try to use was closer to the matte lid color that I used before. But all in all, I mean, and like y'all, y'all get into this look. It's great. So all in all, this You Can Be palette, I would definitely get it for the price too. It's only $13.99, $15 with tax. Why not? Why not try it? Y'all, we're in quarantine anyway, so try something new, try something different. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Make sure y'all give it a like. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like down below. Comments, okay? Comments, 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 comments. <laughs> Comment down below if you want to get featured in my next video. And make sure y'all, most of all, tap or click the subscribe button down below. Join the family, okay? Join the squad. Y'all already know, okay? I will see you in my next video. Peace. Wait. Oh, was it not? Oh, was it? Okay. We do it again. My bunny, honey, honey. I want to see you push it, baby. Oh, just push it back for me. Hey, hey, uh, pride's gonna be death to me. Hold up, wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. You can't match my pedigree. Now you gotta pay a fee.